Welcome to Midweek Minute. It is your Pastor Daryl here from Washington Church of the Nazarene on the corner of South Meridian and National Highway at a correctly functioning traffic light. I know, small town, big news, but I love it. I love the fact that we have a functioning light. Hopefully we'll we'll have a, all of our folks here in Washington, Indiana obey the um, red when it means stop. Um, I've seen it's still hard to get a hold of around here, but that's okay. Well, we're learning. We're learning people, right? I wanted to come to you just for a few moments and and uh, express a few things that are on my mind. See, we had our district assembly last week, and our general superintendent, Dr. Graves, had mentioned something to us. He was talking about how Elijah was taking care of these the hundred different prophets that were in the caves, and he was hiding them there, and then he went up against hundreds and hundreds of Baal prophets. And Dr. Graves asked the question, where were the hundred hiding? Where were they at? And I, 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 I started pondering that, and I started thinking, well, what did they miss by hiding in the caves? See, throughout the Word, it it's instructs us to come together. I mean, we have the we have the verses we're all familiar with, like, you know, do not hinder the gathering together of, of the brethren, and you make sure that you come together and worship. But there's a lot of the ones that I want us to bring together and remind us that we are called to be a social tribe. In Matthew 18, 20, it says, where two or more are gathered, there I will be also. In 1 Corinthians 12, 27, it says, we are the body of Christ. We, plural, are the body singular of Christ. We all have a part to play in the body of Christ. But we must come together to do so. In James 5.14, it says, If any of you is sick, call on the elders for prayer. Call on the elders, plural. Hard to do that when we're still hiding in the cave. So I wanted to encourage you to come out of the cave. We've got a lot of folks looking for you. Even on the back of my, my, my business card, one of my favorite verses, Ecclesiastes 4.9, it says, With two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. You want help succeeding? Join the body. Come out of the cave. Join the fire. Um, another challenge that was given to us by our general superintendent was to re-stoke the fire, to fan the flame of the Spirit. Well, it's easier to fan the flame when you're doing it in the company of your brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope this, this message brings some encouragement. Maybe it, it opens an eye or gets us thinking a little bit. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. And until next week, have a great rest of your week.